So, a two, a four kilogram object is moving at an unknown velocity to start with, okay? So when it collides with a 6.1 kilogram stationary object, after the collision, the 6.1 kilogram object is traveling at a velocity of 2.8 meters per second at 32 degrees north of east. And the four kilogram object is traveling at a velocity of 1.5 meters per second, 41 degrees southeast. What is the velocity of the four kilogram object before the collision? All right, so let's set up our before and after. So I'm gonna say that object one is this four kilogram one and object two is this 6.1. Just because once, if I can put twos and ones to um, my variables, it will just make things a little bit more organized. So say for object one, its mass is four kilograms. Its V is what we're actually looking for. And so it, our P is also unknown. And then for number two, oh, and I should call this like M2, V2, P2. And that'd be M1. Oh, thanks. Jeez. Just making sure you guys are paying attention. Okay, and then number two, M2 is 6.1 kilograms. It's stationary, so V2 is zero. And therefore, P2 is also zero. OK, so now after, I'm just going to separate this. So after object one, it's going at an angle southeast. So Here's east and here's south. Okay. <clears throat> oh, thanks. No. Object one. Oh, wait. I read it wrong. Here we go. Here we go. After the collision. I just switched the order. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's going south of east, 41 degrees. So this is its P, I'm going to say it's P1 prime, net prime. Yeah. Or you can just say P net prime, and we know that it's number one because we just labeled number one. <clears throat> so now, since this is a two-dimensional vector, I'm just going to write in Px prime and my Py prime as well. Okay, so I, kn I can find out what its P net is uh, by the information given to me. So, pardon me? Yeah, because its mass and its velocity, we are assuming, like when it tells us velocity, that that's velocity net. So the actual movement of the object, that's its net velocity, so that goes with its, with its P net. So I'm just going to say here, okay, so my net information about this object, M1 is 4 kilograms, V1 prime is 1.5 meters per second. So now I can find my P net prime. So this will be 6.0 kilograms times meter per second. So now I'd like to write it on my triangle that this is 6.0. So what I'm really trying to figure out here, yeah, go ahead. It is. P 
P net prime be 1.5? But P equals M times V. Because um, what, we, what we want to find out, guys, is we need, we need to find out our total PX and our total PY. So now from this point, I need to find out each of these. I need to find out each of these. Does that make sense? You find each of the velocities and do something like that? No, you can't make a triangle with your velocities. Because what did I say at the very beginning? You can only... Vector arrows always represent momentum. So we can only draw arrows with P. We can only compare P's, not B's. So you need to find your P net, and then you can find your X and your Y's using Pythagoras. Are you with me, Maria? Are you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Just checking in if you had a question. Okay, so um, as you can probably see, if we have to figure out those X's and their Y's, we can use um, our angle and our hypotenuse to find those two lengths. So my PX prime. So my code cos of 41 degrees is equal to Px prime divided by 6.0 because I have, this is my adjacent over hypotenuse, so Px prime is equal to 4.528, and I'm just going to put units in newton seconds because it's just less work. Um, and then I'm going to use sine of theta to find my PY prime over hypotenuse. So my PY prime is 3.936 Newton seconds, but negative or positive? Negative. Okay, this value needs to be negative. This one can stay as it's positive. So we need to add that in and make sure that it, this one is negative because its direction is negative once we broke it down into those vectors. So I like, once I find these, I kind of, I like to box them or just underline these ones because these are what I really need to figure out. Okay, so that was for object one. Now we have to do object two as well.